Missouri lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. taken down to the backfield. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 21-yard line, second down. He's scrambling. And down he goes around the 27-yard line. quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 40. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the line. That brings up second and 13. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Quick pass, tackle made right around the 48-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Loss of one on the way. That makes it third and 11. Four down, four down. Check number six, check number six. Mike eight, Mike eight. Check, check. Green nine, Thunder. And he is drilled at the 43. Calling a loss of eight yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Missouri's coaching staff so confident, they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Got a man, watch out here. And he's taken down at midfield. That, that makes, makes it third and three. Mike 50, Mike 50. Who that? Who that? And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He 
steps out at the 42-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Mike 50, Mike 50. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. Come on, D! That'll make it 35. Mike at the 50. Check by 50. That makes it first and ten. Hey, defense. He's at the 20. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. <laughs> at the 16-yard line. Throws complete, he's hit right away. And now he's got room to run. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it first and goal. Check, check. And he's tackled at the two. That brings up second and goal. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Oh! A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A long 15-play, 77-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now, 7-0. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Tigers with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Ready. White 80. White 80. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. He gets to about the 41-yard line. To that quickly. He's at the 30. That's a great tackle at the 28 yard line. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. That's a deep. 
That brings him second in the Mike eight. Mike eight. Green and eight. Green and eight. Green and eight. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. No game. And he's level at the 33 yard line. That is a loss of 10 yards on the play. That brings up fourth and 15. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up, and it's good. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7-3, Missouri. Mississippi State is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Missouri is up by four. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. It's second and ten. Ball on the 36. Check, 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 check. The halfback with a carry. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. middle got his back he's tackled around the 37 yard line and they pick up two yards nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards everybody up close it looks like they're coming after this kick oh excellent punt he showed a good burst there There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Catches it, and that's all. They pick up a good six yards there. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. it out to about the 50. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 46-yard line, second down. They bring him down in the backfield. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up third and long. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Missouri is going to use their first time out of the half here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. 
Brought down at the 21 yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Missouri holds a four point lead. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop right around the 30. That's good for D nine yards. That brings us second and one. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Tackle made around the 33 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Over the middle to his tailback. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. Game is six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Dog. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down at the 46. The Tigers use their second timeout. From the 46-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Blair! That brings up second and one. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. And he is drilled at the 29. Kill, kill, kill! First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Scrambling around. And now he's going to improvise. He's out of bounds at the 20-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Missouri is up four. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Call it a game of two yards. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Tight right, tight right. Solo out there, check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. And two yards. Wants to throw outside. Looks to a receiver, touchdown. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Well, we've played a half of football. The Tigers in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Every offense that we see every week, David, they put a premium on making big plays. We haven't seen that so far in the first half. Defensive guy like you, how, how much do you appreciate what you've seen from these defenses in the first half? Uh, very much so. It's fun to watch a defense that comes up and when a guy needs to get on the ground and you need to get him on the ground for eight yards instead of ten in a first down, they're doing it. They're doing a great job of being willing to be physical, you know, dominate the point of attack, not let those big plays get over top, not, not let a receiver run down the field without jamming him at the line of scrimmage and messing up the timing. So 
Right now, it's fun to watch a defense that's physical, that's playing where it's supposed to be, that's pressuring the quarterback, stopping the run, really having its way of doing a great job of making everything very difficult for the offense. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 46-yard line. That makes it second and six. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Steps out of bounds. at the 50. That's good for a game of four yards. Fourth down. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. My 50, my 50. Gain of two on the play. First down. Mike 50, Mike 50. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings us second and nine. He scrambled. Tackle at the 40. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. That'll bring up third and two. Ready to kill. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He makes it to the 38-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 50 brings him down at the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Easy. And he's tackled at the 27. Call it a game of one yard. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike's 50, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Green Knight. Green. He gets out to about the 14 yard line. That's a game of 13 on the ball. First down. hit immediately. That's a team on the way. That brings us second and nine. He's got a touchdown. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Missouri's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's hit and taken down. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Here he goes. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 31. around the 29-yard line. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 16. out to about the 15-yard line. Runs it again, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. From the 18-yard line, it's third down. <laughs> Caught, touchdown, and they're not ready to quit just yet. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure that touchdown on their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I love to watch a quarterback, and he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. First down. Down at the 50 yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. Larry, Larry. First down. Hey, 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 Mike 50, Mike 50, Mike 50. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. You better bring second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. Gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. You gonna get this, boy? You think you gonna get this? Hey, kill, kill! And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. That makes it fourth and four. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. The punt goes out of bounds to the four-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. 
They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackled right away. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike eight, Mike eight. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Complete. He's got room. He's out to the 30. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick pass. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Fires it out. Tackle made at about the 15-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He's into the open field. Nice catch on that one. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He makes the PAT. So with one quarter remaining, Missouri leads 21-17. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Missouri is up by four. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. You know, the quarterback that time took a big-time major chance by putting that ball up into coverage. Now, the receiver made the play. They get a first down. But if you're a quarterback, you want to be very, very selective and very careful on how many chances you're willing to take. There's a strike complete, and he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Kill, kill, kill! Shutter three! He fires this one. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's good for a game of 23 yards. First down. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Flair! Flair's quick, he's got another one. That's a game of 11 play. First down. Look at a scramble out, he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of six yards. That'll make it second and one. So the sack makes this a second and long. Green He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Fires out quickly to the 
tailback. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Missouri holds a four-point lead. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That'll be a gain of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Goes to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Mike eight, Mike eight. And he's tackled in the open field. it to the middle of the field and he's taken down at about the 49 number seven makes the tackle at the 49 yard line just under three to go in regulation quick throw tackle around the 46 yard line third down him hard at the 35-yard line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. That'll bring up second and 11. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. They'll drop in for a loss. And that won't be enough for the first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. It's our time. It's our time. My game, my game. Ready. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two minutes in the game. Mississippi State will take their first time out of the half. It's second and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. And they got him for a loss. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. Mississippi State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Throws 
complete. Big loss. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. The Bulldogs using their third and last timeout. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Makes the grab and out of bounds. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offense coordinator are very happy about the execution on that last play. And he's tackled right around the 20. We have less than a minute to go. He gets rid of this one. Second and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. They bring him down for a sack on the play. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. That'll bring up third and long. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Nice play to set up first and goal. And he stops the clock with a spike. That brings up second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Throws this one out to the right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. So the offense is going for it. It's fourth down, and we're on the two-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ball game. Let's go! Pitches it. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Bulldogs! Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Not much time left on the clock, and we've got a great one going. 24-24 is the score. Missouri's gonna take their first time out of the half. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. The worst thing that should happen for the offense now is that the game will go into overtime. If they can make a couple of plays, then maybe they'll pull it out in regulation. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. The Tigers call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He chucks it downfield. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Touchdown, Missouri! Boy, they had to 
dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? And he hits the PAT. So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 31-24, Missouri. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Esler saying goodbye.